It's Saturday, October 17th, 2015, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeoWeather.com video forecast. As of 11.30 on radar, lake effect rain and snow showers are ongoing. We have a band. It was affecting Ashtabula and Trumbull County is coming down from Lake Huron. It has moved into northwestern Pennsylvania for now. There is another band across the Cleveland metro, especially on the east side, producing some light precipitation. This precipitation falling is rain mixed with maybe some grapple and wet snowflakes at times. This will continue through tonight and into the day on Sunday. It's also quite chilly. And here's what this all looks like on satellite imagery. There, There's actually some dry air working in, so there are a few peaks of sun between the lake effect. There is some more moisture moving in, so I think we'll overall be mostly cloudy this afternoon, but you can see very unstable air over the Great Lakes. You can see those clouds really bubbling up quickly as they move across the Great Lakes this morning. So if you're looking at these lake effect clouds, if you're in a break of sun and you're looking up at them, they're probably fairly formidable looking. Um, so this is what happens when very cold air moves across the warm Great Lakes. Kind of cool to look at. As of 11 in the morning, temperatures ranging from the upper 30s in parts of eastern Ohio where it's raining or snowing to the mid 40s where a little bit of sun has peaked out, still well below normal, probably cooler than you'd prefer, and temperatures aren't going to go up a whole lot this afternoon. And for the rest of today, we're going to stay mostly cloudy. The lake effect was more intense earlier this morning. We're going to get a bit of a reprieve this afternoon, won't completely stop. Temperatures are going to level off more or less in the mid-40s with that north wind and more clouds moving in. I don't think we're going to rise too much from where we are right now. And any showers this afternoon could be mixed with grapple or wet snowflakes. It'll be quite breezy. Wind gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour. Tonight, look for an uptick in the lake effect, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Especially east, it'll be rain mixed with grapple wet snow. Low temperatures ranging from the mid-30s in the snow belt to below freezing well west and south of Cleveland. Taking a look ahead on one of our short-term high-resolution forecast computer models courtesy of WeatherBell Analytics, the heavier band of lake effect associated with the lake here on moisture has shifted into northwestern Pennsylvania, and it will still it will stay there, pardon me, for a good portion of the afternoon. There could be some other bands closer to the Cleveland Metro. This model not really picking up on them, but they're there. You saw it on radar and satellite imagery. A disturbance will move through late this afternoon into this evening that should cause an increase in lake effect farther west. So again, we're in a bit of a brief reprieve from the better lake effect right now. This model showing rain, maybe a little bit of snow with the lake effect showers. The heavier showers might bring some colder air to the surface and help change some things over to snow. You can see a couple of areas of blue showing up in here and the heavier showers where the model actually depicts the showers cooling things off enough for things to change to snow this evening and that will be a general trend through the overnight and I'll pick up another model here in just a second. Alright so picking up one of our longer range forecast computer models through the night tonight lake effect expected to continue off and on especially east of Cleveland and Akron some heavier bursts are possible and it will be cold enough for grapple and snow to mix in could even change over completely for a time in some of the higher terrain and parts of Geauga, Portage, Inland, Ashtabula, Trumbull counties. Could even be a sloppy coating of maybe a quarter to half inch if any heavier showers persist over one area for a little while. But other than that, the ground's warm, the air temperatures will be above freezing in the snow belt tonight. So I'm not expecting any accumulations of note as it looks right now, but maybe a sloppy coating. As we head into the day Sunday, the conditions for lake effect will slowly diminish. However, one last little disturbance looks to work through early Sunday afternoon that could cause one little last burst of lake effect showers. It will still be cold enough for some grapple to mix in with the showers Sunday afternoon. So if you're heading down to the Browns game, it'll still be a bit breezy, although the winds will really be slackening by evening. And there could be a passing shower, maybe mixed with some grapple, as Josh McCown tries to take down that Denver Bronco defense. And as we head into Monday night, high pressure builds in, and we dry out completely. 
Outside of the lake effect, rain and snow showers. The big story will be the cooler weather. Temperatures this afternoon, mid-40s at best. This evening, we'll really start dropping outside of the snow belt. Right now, we have a freeze warning out for Tuscarora's, Carroll, and Columbiana counties. That's our southeasternmost fringes in our coverage area. For some reason, there is not yet a freeze warning out for areas like Medina, Wooster, Ashland counties, areas that did not get below freezing last night and technically are still in their growing season. It looks like tonight, outside of the snow belt, it will be another freeze, perhaps even a hard freeze in some locations, depending on exactly how much the sky is clear. In the snow belt, temperatures will stay in the mid to upper 30s, maybe near 40 along the immediate lake shore. So no freeze for the snow belt tonight, although pretty much everyone else looks to potentially see freezing temperatures tonight. Temperatures on Sunday will skip ahead to afternoon for the highs. Not much better than today, low to mid 40s. And then as we head through Sunday night, it looks like the snow belt will start drying out, clearing out Sunday night, which will allow temperatures to drop in the snow belt. So it looks like almost everyone has an opportunity for a free Sunday night into Monday morning with the exception of the immediate lakeshore. So the growing season looks to end for the vast majority of us. If you have tender vegetation, bring it inside over the next couple of nights if you wish for it to survive. The good news is Monday, Tuesday, we warm up. We see a good amount of sunshine. Cold front moves through Wednesday night into Thursday, could bring a few showers and a bit of a cool down, although nothing close to what we're dealing with right now, so we will get much nicer starting Monday. With NeoWeather.com, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for watching. Check us out again tomorrow.